Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you what I have in mind for an RM2000 rig. Yes, finally a rig from Abang Gold Fries. But just how good is this rig? Let's find out right after this introduction. Okay, introduction done. So we are back here already. Let's have a look at Abang Gold Fries build, huh? RM2000, no kidding you. So I'm going to read it from this uh, big 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 phone of mine which is the Mi Max 2 Okay, processor is the AMD APU APU, you know? A10-9700E Motherboard is an ASRock AB350 Gaming K4 RAM is 2 sticks of 4 GB RAM DDR4-2400 from G-Skill which is the Aegis The drive it uses the pen drive 128GB M.2 SSD It uses the Tagware Edge TG casing and lastly the EVGA 500 BV power supply. Hey, so loud pair when you build, really? I mean, you look around everywhere, other people's build 2000 plus or can get or got GTX 1050 Ti, right or not? I will explain to you why my build this way. Actually, this build is um, one that has upgrade potential. Now, you look around the other rigs, yes, they have a GTX 1050 Ti, but look at the motherboard it is a h110 chipset from motherboard from intel i mean the brand can be any others i mean the chipset is from intel h10 is very old upcoming release is the 300 series chipset before there is a 200 chip, uh, series chipset then there's a 100 series chipset and the 110 is the lowest among the 110 series and at most you can upgrade to an Intel i7 7700K The Core i7 is the 7700K But of which 110 chipset you won't be able to overclock it So you'll be going for something like the i7 7700 Which is about RM1003 or 1004 But if you are using my setup which is this um, The one with an AB, this B350 chipset You can upgrade up to a Ryzen 7 1800X And you can overclock it and there are some builds out there that's using the AMD's B320 chipset. Well, that's good, but the 320, you're limited from overclocking. Now, next, APU. Why APU? Because you don't need to worry about graphic card. It works just fine as it is. The processing power is a little behind the Core i3, but you get what you pay for. Uh, the GPU performance is still better than the, what's on the Intel's processor. And as you, you can see, it runs dual channel. That's simply because this um, onboard GPU on the APU works best on dual channel RAM. Now let's have a look at the performance. Here is CSGO. Defusing the bomb. 
Now for this one, it's League of Legends. And lastly, we have Overwatch. Okay, uh, so let's not waste time any further. Let's look at the drive. Drive, I put an, an M.2 SSD because you, I don't have to worry. Anyone who use it does not have to worry about the uh, this uh, SATA data cable or the SATA power supply because it just hooks onto the board without any cables around. Very good. And why am I not using a, a hard disk? Well, if you install an OS on the hard disk and later you want to add an SSD, you have to reinstall the OS on the SSD or maybe you want to do some cloning, up to you, but it is a, a, an additional step. Now with this case, you have a 128GB uh, storage space, you put the OS and you still have some space for some of your games and later when you want, want to upgrade, just put in a hard disk and you get it up and running without having to worry about OS installation. Then we have the casing. Now if you look at the other builds, I know they're very good lah, right? But this one, even more gooder, better. Meaning, if you see uh, those other rigs, yes they're good, but many of them are using uh, micro ATX casing or even uh, mini ATX casing, which will be a bit difficult when, you come, when it comes to expanding or upgrading. So with this Techware Edge TG, not only you have tempered glass, interior, you can choose black, white and red, not only that, it supports a mini, this um, uh, full ATX casing, and this means you can put cooler, um, power, or AIO, whatever cooler you want, or even fit in big graphics card like the GTX 1080 Ti. Which brings to the next point, it supports this uh, system using this 500 watt power supply, supports all these um, improvements, whether it's processor or GPU. And that aside, I forgot to highlight about the RAM. Yes, 2x4 right now, but this board has 4 DIMM slots so you get to upgrade to uh, a lot more RAM 6 if you ever want in the future. Now back to the topic about the power supply. This power supply is by EVGA. Yes, EVGA you know. This is EVGA, very can trust one. You trust Go Fries, Avant Go Fries tell you EVGA, good brand. This is good brand. What's even more interesting is that this system draws less than 70 watts from the wall. So the actual power draw is probably 60 watts or less. So that's it. This is uh, my idea of an RM2000 rig. It is not the best out of the box. If you're RM2000, 2000 or 2005 to spend, sorry lah, I tell you, this is actually not so good. But if you are looking ahead, maybe three, six, or maybe one, three to six months down the road, or even one year down the road, you want to expand, this is the very good one. All right, that's it for this video. I'll catch you again in my upcoming videos. If you're watching this on YouTube, yes, do remember to subscribe to uh, this channel, leave any comments or whatever. And if you're watching it on Facebook, thank you. Feel free to share. In fact, I do encourage you to share. Share it. Links to my YouTube channel will be somewhere around on this uh, Facebook post. And um, do remember to visit the YouTube channel and also subscribe to it. All right, I'll see you in my, com in my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Blah, 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 blah. Talk so much until... Uh, Tang tai. All right. Bye bye.